delinquent debts. Right. But and anyway, I get uh, a notification, I think, every month or every couple of weeks that my... Because you all might have noticed that the bandwidths and internet speeds have, are kind of dragging right now because everybody's on Pornhub or <laughs> doing, whatever, doing whatever they do on, on Netflix. Uh, you know, not working, but the bandwidth is dragging, so I, I oftentimes switch to my 4G LTE network. And I get a notification every other week that my 4G LTE data allotment has been increased by 15 gigabytes. And, Mm -hmm. you know, they want to act like they're doing you a favor, like it's, you know, ostensibly to keep you safe so we can, you know, get through this and stay connected during COVID-19. But, you know, they're doing that so they can continue to track you and, you know, make sure you're social distancing or adhering to whatever language or behavior stimulus you know they want to see that day oh yeah and and it's again as long as they have that that big ticker just just <clears throat> just like the death clock uh humming along and uh further imposing more and more fear uh they they can continue to claim justification mm. and that's why i really i i question the uh, so-called settled science around uh, epidemiology, and science with a capital science S, science with a cap- science, science incorporated, <laughs> um, and uh, you know this whole use of um, you know extreme scales to to control human imagination about reality. They they use the macrocosm and the microcosm as as mm-hmm. above, so below type. Um, occult mysticism uh and they enshrine it in this really complex you know authoritative technical jargon this is more dooms casting yeah it is it is and and the virus it's also uh <laughs> i love this one is that a warren buffett <laughs> yeah. who for, the, for, they for are best listeners only what's but, on screen Okay, so this is a meme where Warren Buffett and uh, Bill Gates are on the same doubles team at ping pong, and there's like all these people watching them, and Warren Buffett is like looking down at Bill Gates's paddle, and it is like a twenty x oversized paddle, like it's so easy to hit the ball, yeah. and the the term is uh, Bill Gates. Racketeering never felt so easy. <laughs> it's because he just bought all the media. Right. And... Well, he conveniently steps down from the Microsoft board in February to save the world. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's such a Nelly when he talks. Oh. He's and, a cornball. You, know, Let's... Some good you listen to this falsetto. On a vaccine, although that oh. probably will take 18 months. That's going full speed ahead. Our foundation is funding that. We're looking at getting vaccines to everyone in the world. So in, in the in the long run, that is the key thing. Man, what is Ugh. the sickness around telling you that you, you know, what he's going to do? That is like paying homage to the egregore that you want everyone else to worship in the future. Where it's like, I'm going to proclaim to you that which I want you to be subs- subservient in the future too and check this out um uh with since we're on bill gates this uh id 2020 organization they're promoting digital identity for everybody in the world this is a scary scary um article sort of like opinion piece almost that they posted march 28 2018 it's a four minute it's a four minute read guys (laughs) yeah and it's and it's about how you know we already have an globally an estimated 95 percent of children receive at least one dose of some vaccine this number is staggering and then they basically talk about how this is a huge opportunity to um to basically introduce a digital id that is integrated with um some sort of immunization uh-huh and this partly funded by bill and melinda gates of course. And it's just sort of like a think tank, uh, technocratic blog site. Mm-hmm. But, you know, behind the scenes, these guys are probably meeting yeah. Oh, yeah. on, um, you know, World of Warcraft, you know, guilds and stuff, you know, <laughs> <laughs> c- 
conspiring um, and <clears throat> check out yeah. the disclaimer at the top well, that yeah. is, anyone can publish on medium per our policies oh look but wow we, wow. Do, we don't fact check every story for more info about the coronavirus pardon me <laughs> Cerveza the Cerveza, Cerveza. Uh, yeah we're we're off yeah, YouTube I've guys uh, ccdc.gov Maybe if yeah. I say CDC three times, we'll reappear on uh, on YouTube. Man, oh, yes. Oh, yes. CDC is everywhere. Oh yeah, I mean, it, it, but it's interesting. That like it would be it would be uh, suggested in this article. Uh huh. Well, media you know, is that like is, a... that has been published in 2018. Right. Right. Well, <laughs> you know, like I think p- people have probably been writing in. You know, this has been passed around in yes. the uh, in the whole calculus of this whole thing because you can see in the media. I mean, they're telling Is, you what they're planning. Was it not on your LinkedIn? Huh? Was it not on your LinkedIn? No. I see, see, we got we got one there. <laughs> uh, one of the digital gulags. See, and you just read that first unitalicized sentence. An estimated 95% of children receive at least one dose of some vaccine. This number is staggering. No other public health interventions reaches more children and impacts more families. That's like a sales pitch. I wish they spelled some S-U-M. Right. That, that would really help like enunciate and uh, make it a little more poignant. Exactly. And it's like... Get some vaccine! <laughs> and then, um, and then it, you know, the very next sentence of... Uh, yet despite this... High initial contact rate. Only thirty seven percent of children in the world's poorest See, countries are fully immunized, meaning that they receive their full course of recommended vaccines. Well, okay, so it's just if you look at the increase in recommended yeah. vaccines over the past thirty years, what has it gone up like seven hundred percent, eight eight hundred percent? There's eight, eight yeah. times the amount of recommended. Vaccines. Not to mention, you know <laughs> that that's a racket within the context of. This article, children are the vehicle, you know, for this digital ID system. Here we are talking about kids again. And this number is staggering. You know, the the number, the number of what? The number of children that get vaccinated. Why is it staggering that they get vaccinated? I think that it's, you know, staggering. it's staggering that they would get vaccinated at all. But it's... It's really, and I was kind of picking up on it in Bill Gates' tone in that uh, that CNN Vanderbilt interview that you were playing. Is it's more of this fetishization uh, or fetishizing, fetishizing uh, authoritarian ab- opinion, right? You know of who's the experts. And, oh, because, that is everywhere today. Because you know, again, Bill Gates, uh, he's a Microsoft computer programmer. <laughs> Microsoft. Uh, windows. Yeah, you know, screensavers. I, I mean, I mean, I don't it, even think he was ever even a legitimate programmer. No, he he, wasn't. he was a, uh-huh. a corporate manager. You know, basically elevated to a position. Um, and son of William Gates. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh-huh. I mean, a eugenicist. <laughs> Absolutely. Eugenicist. You know, look at what is Microsoft an appendage of uh, an appendage of IBM. Mm-hmm. You know, who developed the first algorithm. You know, the Hollerith. Right. And we, we all know what that was used for. Mm-hmm. Check. The, I mean, the, just the boldness of this public uh, discussion right here. Um, and it's, you know, they're quoting folks in the global think tanks, the Bilderberg, you know, type G8, G20 um, financial forums. One of the biggest needs is for affordable, secure digital identification systems that can store a child's medical history and that can be accessed even in places without reliable electricity. That might seem a tall order, but it is both achievable and necessary. So, Why is it necessary to them? Uh, they don't even really cite the the benefit to us. So it, again, it also, sounds nice. It's you also know, asserted sounds compassionate that they would sooner provide these people with a digital identification before electricity you know that uh-huh. Uh-huh. They, even if they don't have electricity it's like well why don't we give it to them right, right. so like why are you right. so concerned with their medical history um before solving one of the <laughs> primary things that could improve their state of 
you know, health. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. There is in